Hey, it's Tyrone Jackson, the Wealthy Investor, coming at you with another powerful video. You know, uh, one of the things that I've been focusing on with you in all of my video lessons is this idea of your thinking, right? What we perceive to be real is real. And today I'm going to talk to you about the rich, the rich and why the rich always get richer and a classic argument that goes on for those of us who love to invest money and put it at work, uh, whether it be in the stock market or in real estate. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite people, uh, Robert Kiyosaki from the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series. I love his books. I love his philosophies. He's a great communicator. But there's a classic argument that goes on right now uh, between investing in stocks and investing in real estate. Now, the first thing that the rich do is they invest in themselves. They invest in things that they don't understand. They financially educate themselves, whether it be taxes, arbitrage, how to put money to work. Um, middle class people, unfortunately, don't do that. And then they wonder why they get the results that they get, because they never invest a nickel on a financial education. Well, it's hard to get rich if you're not willing to invest your time, your energy, and your money. But I want to talk about uh, stocks here for a second. Because I believe that you and I will get richer faster, will build wealth faster in the stock market than we will with real estate. Now, I want to show you something here, which is a very interesting chart. Uh, when you invest in stocks, very often you can invest in uh, like the battle for supremacy. And right now, there's a battle in terms of technology on who's going to dominate your cable box, right? Uh, because there's so much information coming out there and streaming video. And that battle is going on really basically with two companies. And one of them is Time Warner Cable. Now, Time Warner Cable is getting more and more subscribers uh, as the day goes on and battling to become the dominant force. Now, imagine if I had money to actually put it work, I'll notice that the stock 52 weeks ago, it was worth $92.87. Today, it is worth $142. But uh, I want to show you something. If you had, let's say, for example, $40,000. Now, here's the key to investing, right? You have to know what it is you're investing in. But if I want to buy a piece of real estate, and I need about $40,000 for the down payment. Here's why I would do better in the stock market. You'll notice something. This is a five-year chart of Time Warner Cable. Does everybody see that? A five-year chart of Time Warner Cable. Had you bought 1,000 shares, that would be a $40,000 investment in this, this company, not only would you have gotten paid a dividend, in other words, you would have made money while your shares are sitting there every quarter, 13 weeks, your $40,000 investment without any tenants is now worth what? $142,000. Now let's go through that again. Your $40,000 investment, you put 1,000 shares down here, is now worth $142,000. That's over a 300% return in what period? In less than five years. Now, here's where I differ with my good friend Robert Kiyosaki. Time Warner stock, right, uh, just by owning it, how many tenants did I have to deal with? How many times did I actually go to court? How many times did I have to beg them to pay me on time? How many leaky roofs did I have to uh, repair? And the answer is zero. All I did was hold the stock for a five-year period. So this is one reason why stock ownership beats real estate investing because I don't know how to repair toilets and leaky roofs, and I don't know how to you know, have a chimney repaired, but I sure know how to hold a stock and let the executives at Time Warner do their magic. Remember, they're battling out in the cable field. Look at this. Here's another company called Dish Network, right? Okay, so if you don't have a wire in your neighborhood, you can get a dish and get the signal coming in. Look at this. This is another one. Um, if, if I were going to invest in a piece of real estate, I'd need at least $20,000 to get started. If I took that same $20,000, again, this is a five-year chart, I'm not even going to consider the low of the stock because that is the five-year low around 15. That's cheating, right? But let's say we got the shares at 20. We're late to the game. We missed this run up here and we're late to the game and we purchased the shares at 20. That same $20,000 I could have invested in real estate, right? is now in less than five years worth what? 
over $61,000. Now, let's look at this again. 20, right? to 40 is a 100% return. So my $20,000 that I could have used as a down payment for real estate, when the stock hit 40, it's now worth $40,000. That's a 100% return, right? But where's the stock at today? 61, which means my $20,000 that I could have used for real estate is now worth what? $61,000. Did I have any leaky toilets? Did I have to go to court? Did I have to repair anything in the stock? No. Now, you know, if you're a student of the Wealthy Investor Program, that instead of just holding on to these shares, we could have done what? We could have sold covered calls and gotten paid on a monthly or weekly basis from either Dish Network or Time Warner. But you know, as I always say in the Wealthy Investor Program, we stop selling cover calls when the stock hits around 100 bucks. We stop generating that monthly income from stock ownership because the institutions usually take it from 100 to 150. And that's a pattern that we've seen over and over and over and over again. So I have to say to my good friend, Robert Kiyosaki, real estate is great, stock ownership even better. Again, we've got Time Warner down here, uh, $40,000 is now worth $142,000 with no tenants. And we've got the same thing in Dish Network. While these companies battle it out for subscribers, we are winning. Now, I told you at the beginning of this video, rich people invest in themselves. Middle class people say it would be nice to be rich and they never take an action. So I'm going to encourage you to take an action today, and the action is something that I believe in. If you go to the wealthyinvestor.net and you click on products, right? I have a CD series called The Wealthy Investor's Guide to Stock Market Success, where I explain to you how to choose these companies and why you want to own stocks. But we recently added a new CD, which is uh, stocks, uh, real estate for cash, like how to use cover call writing in stocks to either pay off your real estate, that's the great thing, or give you the down payment to buy more more real estate. So that's the thing that's really interesting. You take a strategy like cover call writing, and it can actually bring you money to buy real estate. Just take an action. Don't sit on the side and say, I don't know where the information is because it's here right now. It can come from me. It can come from Robert Kiyosaki. But the most important thing is that you take the next step to get financially educated and change your life. This is Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying I'll see you at the next video.